hello and welcome to the EasyScan Draw Pipe tutorial. Uh, my name is Max Ward. I'm a Customer Success Associate. I'm just going to walk you through uh, how you draw pipe and edit pipe data on the EasyScan app. So I'm going to do a previously recorded area here. I'm going to try to make this straight segment of pipe conform to this bend here. So I'm going to go down to pipe data and here are your pipe properties that you've already entered in but I want to add um, bends and, uh, and nodes, possibly mixed material. So I'm going to go down to bend pipe and mixed material. And I'm going to hit OK on this tutorial screen. And now I need to create what's called a node on the pipe, which is essentially a bend. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to hit the plus button at the bottom because I want to create a node that is going toward the red uh, sensor. So now I've created my node in the middle and I can actually drag the screen or drag the map rather, uh, to reposition that node where I want that node to be. Now, if I want to create another node, say over here somewhere, I'll, I'll hit the plus button in the direction of the red sensor because that's the direction we need to go create that node in. And uh, I'll just reposition that here. Say I want to make another one just to make that bend uh, a little bit better. Hit the plus button again and reposition that. All right, so when I'm done, I'm going to hit save and continue. And I'm going to hit OK on the tutorial screen. Uh, now this is where we'll enter in the material for each of these segments, because each node made a different segment. So uh, the segment in green here is the one I'm highlighting, or the one I'm editing. And say I wanted to make this one PVC, well, I just tap on material, change it to PVC. And I can use the arrows or the next pipe button to navigate to the next pipe segment. I'm actually going to change this length a little bit. Say I know the length of PVC pipe. Um, then I want to go to the next. Uh, make sure that's right. Okay, I'm going to go to the next segment with the arrow button. And finally, at the last segment, there is a, oops, there is a save button I can press. And there we go. We're all done. Now we have a new correlation spot that is hopefully more accurate than the one we had before. So let's just do another example here with a different uh, deployment. Then go back into browse data, find a new deployment. This is going to be a straight segment of pipe, but I want to make a segment in the middle of this that is a different material. So I'd go to bent pipe or mixed materials, hit OK on the tutorial, and I want to make another node. So I'd hit the plus button again and drag the map to reposition that node. And I need to make another node so that there is a segment in the middle. Uh, and I want it to go in the direction of the red sensor. So I'm going to hit the plus button, reposition that node. Hit save and continue. And to navigate to the middle segment, I'm going to hit the arrow. Now that I've edited the properties and hit OK and hit save, uh, I can go in, I can check my correlation. Uh, I'm going to toggle that auto filter feature on, which remember to do that. That's very important. That'll give you a more accurate position. But say I wanted to go back in and delete these nodes that I've created. I'd go into pipe data and then I would use the arrows to navigate to that node and hit the trash can button in the center. And that is going to delete those two nodes that I just created. 
I'll hit save. And now I can go back and it's going to prompt me to edit this, these pipe properties of the total segment. So I'll just change the length a little bit, hit save. And now I've, I'm back to a new correlation spot. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us in, uh, by using any of the numbers in the description of this video. Uh, and uh, until next time, happy hunting. Thanks.